Welcome to United by Trucks. We're back with a What's in My Driveway. And man, I've got something awesome to tell you guys. The Sweet Patina has come on board as a title sponsor for six episodes of What's in My Driveway. So you can thank those guys over at the Sweet Patina for bringing What's in My Driveway back full force. And today we have a killer episode for you guys. We're going to be talking about Zach Rollison's Chevy truck. I don't even know the year. We're going to really dive in on this thing and tell you all about it. So stay tuned. Welcome to What's in My my driveway brought to you by the sweet patina I'm here with Zach Rollison. What's up, man? Zach, how are how you? you doing, man? Nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah. Thanks for bringing the truck oh, over. Oh, absolutely. This thing is cool. We have really been talking about this for probably yeah. the last couple of months, and Zach works at Holly and yep. uh, has been a great resource for us on mud. That's actually how I met you. That's exactly how we met, but he also bought another truck. I did. It's a pretty good patina truck that we've been talking about, so we yeah. thought, why don't we get the one you've got done, <laughs> done first, and then we'll come back and do the, do yeah, the patina truck at some time, but that really brings me to this truck. Man, what are we looking at right here? This is a 66 C10. It's a custom truck, so it's high trim. I think it had every option except factory air. Big back window, trim, has a radio, so lever HVAC, not the dial HVAC. Very so. cool. And steering wheel trim, I think is what yeah, you got. So absolutely. I think it was every option other than like four wheel drive, long bed, kind yeah. of a rare truck. How long have you had this truck? Two years, year and a half, two years. And how was it when you got it? What kind of configuration was so it? So it looked like this, similar. It was obviously the painted blue, white. Haven't really done much on the exterior. Changed the wheels. Yeah. Redid a lot of the suspension. Engine's been changed, so been rebuilt, but it still looks very similar to when I got it. Well, yeah. I can't wait to look under the hood. I know, some man. really big changes there. <laughs> I love the changes that you've made, Thank even you, especially absolutely. on the wheel and tire selection. So can we just jump right in on yeah, that? Absolutely. Give us a lowdown on those. You know, white walls used to be in, yeah. chrome smoothies used to be in. That yep. trend's kind of gone away. And I like just being a little bit different. So these are thick white walls. Yep, thick white walls, Croker Classics. Yep. 15 inch chrome smoothies with the moon cap hubcap. So Very really cool. kind of retro look to it. So you got eights up front, nines in the rear. Yeah. Awesome, absolutely. man. That is a, a really, really cool look. Tell us a little bit about the suspension. How's this thing slam to the ground? So like this? full air ride, obviously. I, I don't think you can drive it that low. <laughs> yeah. Ride Tech came on board, helped out big time in the front. It's got their full kit, sway bar, upper, lower, A arms, uh, airbags, cool. and dead end garage actually helped out with the C notch. They make a really nice C notch airbag bracket yeah. with a pan hard bar. It's all bolt on and go. Yeah, Jason so. Polita is one of my, yeah. one of my great He does friends. the crawfoot, yeah, crawfish, crawfish bowl uh, out bowl. In, uh, Yeah, in Mississippi. And I, I, I think don't, you've been there, haven't you? I have. I went, yeah. was it last year or year before last? Yes, I have been there. And Jason's yeah. a great friend. Um, and he makes some dead end. And I didn't know him. Products. I just found his stuff online and called him up. And he, he would talk to you like he knew you for 10 years. Oh, you know? yeah. Just cool dude. Yeah, <laughs> he's a great dude. So you've got ride tech stuff on the front. You've got some dead end garage stuff on the back. Is yep. it still trailing arms? Factory trailing arms. Trailing arms. Yep. Uh, the bags bolt to them. So it's just a C-notch. It's not step-notched or anything, so it still retains most of the factory frame. Very cool. And yeah. you kept your bed floor at the same yeah. height. So you can use it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is kind of what these trucks were meant to do, yeah, right? absolutely. <laughs> you got a little diff. Well, diff in order through. to get it this low, for the axle to get up on the C-notch, yeah. you got to cut the wood bed out. Yep. So it's either that or raise the wood bed floor. Not ready to do that quite yet. Yep. I want, I mean, people sat back here, cruised, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not saying you can't do that with a of raised course. bed floor, yeah. but you're sitting up here. Yeah. You, you're not, you don't get that original feel with it. Yeah, I love it. I like the American flag thing you got going there. And while we're right here in the bed, tell me a little bit about this cooler. These trucks, I think you've had a couple. Yeah. As we'll see under the hood in a little bit, the battery actually sits under there. Oh, very And I can show cool. you real quick. So yeah. we'll if you just that. pop the lever forward and pop the lid, it's hidden in plain sight. Well, you would I'll never be. know it was there. Yeah. And it adds to the retro of the truck. So. I agree. And I love the color and the patina and all that on the box. My wife's going to be mad because she's a Coke girl. So she's going to be mad there's a Pepsi <laughs> well, cooler here. We're in the South, you <laughs> know, right. Coke, but red on the truck. There ain't a whole lot much no. more red. So <laughs> these coolers are expensive too. Oh, and I fell into this deal 
I mean, these things are like four or five hundred dollars. Wow. I found one on eBay that was rusted in the bottom for 70 bucks. And I'm like, well, I'm cutting it anyway. Well, yeah, that's <laughs> perfect. I do love that. I mean, like your marketplaces, your Ebays, yeah. you know, Craigslist, even still, you can find a little stuff like this that, yeah, like I you mean, said, you don't need, you didn't need the bottom in it. You didn't need a fully restored nope, cooler. You nope. just made it work Absolutely. for what you needed, which is cool. Okay. So we've talked wheels and tires. We talked suspension. The, the paint on this truck, do you know if it was this color originally? Yeah. So it was originally blue and white. It's had one repaint in its life. Yep. The, the previous owner said it was like in the mid nineties. I think I'm the third owner. Okay. So this truck's actually named Carolina. When I bought it, I've kind of kept it along. I haven't really changed it. Who I bought it from was the second owner. And I think he had it for two years. Okay. Um, it was just small block Chevy, three on the tree, basic truck. It had the interior with the, with the Snowden seat in it and everything. But he said he bought it from the old man that owned it his whole life from 66 to 2018-ish. Yeah. yeah. Where'd you buy this truck out? North Carolina. North Carolina. Yep. So it lived its whole life in North Carolina until you I did brought say it that. down to Georgia. I, I apologize if no, you yeah. already said that. No, you're cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> so cool name for the truck though. Makes perfect sense. Carolina blue for the Tar Heels, even though we're in Georgia. But um, you mentioned the Snowden seat in the interior. Can we talk a little oh, bit yeah. about Oh yeah, open it interior? up. Absolutely. I, Go for it. If I open the door here. So tell us a little bit about what's going on here. So real original Snowden seat. This thing's so comfortable. I don't Is know it? if you've ever, I, you're, you're about to ride in it later. I have said, said in some and I've sat in some that were, you know, Snowden copies. And yeah, you can tell I have a bad back <laughs> and other than, you know, being an old truck, you could, I could sit in this thing 12 hours and yeah. it don't hurt my back. And I think that's just one of the selling points for me. So very cool. Well, I love that you've done sort of that brownish mocha color yep. I and mean, that just works on these, these trucks, especially when they have the, the fawn yep. color in the All the fawn paint is, yeah. I think the previous center repainted it, but it's still the original style. Yeah, it looks awesome. I love the just, hey, man, we're not going to mess with a bunch of stuff. Let's get the yep. seat right. Let's get the carpet right. Let's get the mats right and uh, let everything else be 66, yeah, you know, absolutely. which I think is cool. So this is an awesome truck. And these were kind of the redheaded stepchild trucks. Nobody liked these. And I think all the Red other trucks have rest. gone <laughs> so up in value. I've always liked these trucks. Me too. So Me too. They're coming around. That's a great point you make. So Delmo obviously made mm -hmm. these trucks extremely popular again. Oh, yeah. And I think these trucks are coming back around really in a way to, to get up Look there. Look at the with one that sold at Barrett Jackson. I don't remember, I think it was like out of Arizona. It was that copper brown one. Yeah. It was a nice truck. It's not this kind of, of course, truck. It was of a it was a built truck, but it was just stock uh, Detroit, Detroit steel Shell. wheels. Yeah. You know, clean LS engine, raised bed for it. I think it brought like 130. Yeah. I mean, cool? it was straight, you yeah, know, it was done nice right. Truck. but. But 130? Still, yeah. They're getting there. I agree. I completely agree. I love this body style, especially if you're going to lower them. I love that you've got the rear fender arch is lower than the front, so you always get that really nice tuck look oh, yeah. pretty easy Absolutely. in the rear. And speaking of that tuck look, you have what air management on this truck? It's on airlift. Airlift. 3P. Yep. Very cool. You happy with that? Yeah. Um, my next build is going to be AccuAir, just yeah. to try something else out. Totally. But I have no complaints of this one. Let's get under the hood. And okay. Yeah, thing. let's take a look, because that's kind of the, sh the showcase. Yeah, of this that's one. what people want to see. <laughs> All right, guys, so if you don't know, the Sweet Patina obviously has everything you need to preserve your patina, but what you guys may not know is they actually make a ton of stuff for painted vehicles as well. I mentioned the Century Polish over on the, for the patina trucks, but I use it on slick paint trucks too. We're going to be using it on Smokey, our K30 here soon, and uh, I need you to go over to the sweetpatina.com, even if you're a painted truck or a patina truck, check out their products. They've got some great stuff. These guys love C10s. They're a part of our community. I just am really, really happy to be partnered with them on this series and they're just great folks. So go check out the sweetpatina.com and we'll bring you more in these episodes about them as they progress. So appreciate you guys. Just give me a check real quick. Check one, two. So this is kind of surprises people because of the classic look of the truck. It doesn't really match, but that was, a, that was kind of going for. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> It's a LS3 crate engine, Tremec TKX, so it's got a man pedal in it. Oh. Um, BTR, stage two or three cam, it gets down. So. I bet <laughs> it does. Hit me with the, uh, what's the trans again? TKX, Tremec, five speed. Yeah, five yeah. speed. That's their new five speed. It's real small, so it's supposed to fit in a lot of the stuff with the floor and everything. Yeah. Without humping the floor. Obviously, I work at Holly, so the whole catalog's thrown at it. <laughs> <laughs> Give us some of the highlights here. What would be the things that you, you know, that you really love yeah. about what you've. Absolutely. One of the main things is that intake manifold. Yeah. It's definitely different looking. It's their dual plenum, so. 
dual drive-by wire throttle bodies. Makes a ton of torque. With the white walls, second gear, you just smack it. It's <laughs> it's all over the place, but it's fun. I it's love fun. it. <laughs> well, it's very, very sanitary under here. Um, looks like you got AC. Yep, vintage air. Uh, the two-piece valve covers, full tubular headers. Those are Holly headers. I like them. They don't drag the ground as low as this is. Most long tubes are way down on the ground. So these are long tubes that you've gotten to fit under, fit up in the frame yep. rail and do not hang below. It's it's their kit. I didn't modify anything. Their mounts, their trans mount, their headers, they make a nice package. And it's, is that all under the Hooker Blackheart brand? Yeah, Hooker Blackheart. Yeah, very mm -hmm. cool. That's good to know for you 60, 66 guys, but probably even up into 72 as yeah, well. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Dude, this looks very, very cool. So you got the mid-mount accessory. Yep. Set up going. Frostbite radiator. Which um, I love in mud. I mean, I'm not trying to make this about my truck, but <laughs> no. that truck, I got that frostbite set up in mine with the tool spout, two spow fans. Mm -hmm. Dude, there ain't no chance that no. thing's overheating. This is just one spow fan, their shroud, their fan. The oh, highest I've ever seen, 190s. Yeah. Sitting in traffic with the AC on. I, know, I mean, man. you can't you can't complain. Before we move on, tell me about the hood hinges. So CVF hood hinges, uh, billet hood hinges. Really nice, adjustable and everything. Um, really makes it nice. As you've probably worked on these trucks, the hoods are insanely yeah. heavy. Yep. It is a three person job just to get this hood on, on and off. Ugh. And uh, we've almost got, me and my fiance have almost gotten a divorce before we've gotten married <laughs> over this hood. I love it. AMD, sheet metal in the front, oh. uh, inner fenders, core support. When I got it, it was it was original. It was, it was rusty like any of these trucks are. Yeah. So AMD helped out full setup really fits nice it does it looks great and not trying to make this an advertisement but it's got a lot of nice parts on it you know when you do these trucks if you want them to drive and have problem free miles you gotta put nice parts in them it, it is what it is i you agree know? man i'm back here shaking my head behind the cameras <laughs> so clutch pedal see. obviously factory is a mechanical clutch this has got a malwood hydraulic conversion i've got a really bum knee so this is like a factory clutch, LS7 Very clutch. Cool. It's nothing fancy, but you can drive it. You're not sitting there shaking your knee in traffic. So yeah. it's nice. So you got the drive-by wire pedal there. Yep. Mm -hmm. So if you peek up under the dash back by the firewall, the Dominator ECU is right there. And there it is. So that's what runs the whole engine management. And it's Holly's top of the line ECU, but it just works. Yeah, I run the Terminator X Max. X Max, yep. It works so well, I can't even imagine what and the, I'll tell the you, next I would have up a, would be. And I'll tell you, I would have a Terminator X Max in here if it wasn't for those dual drive-by wire throttle bodies. That just forces you into the Dominator. Oh, okay, yeah. you've got to have more configurability. You yep. get more configurability with a Dominator. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the shifter setup. Uh, Hearst shifter, um, they sell 100 shifter sticks. I just found one in the catalog that I thought would work, and it dropped right in there and works with that bent seat. Do you mind if I sit in here? Oh, you go for it. I want to show you here where this where this sits. I mean, it's a, it's a natural feel when you put your hand on it. I mean, look it's, at that. You're just right here. Pedals are at a nice spot. And then if you work your way up, my favorite thing of the interior is those Dakota digital gauges. Boy, don't they make a huge difference. Oh, they do. <laughs> they do. That's awesome. They just brighten the truck up and oh, just make man. it so nice. Well, it looks very classy. I love it. Compressor's kicking on, which is great, airlift. Yeah, man. Yeah, I really like the cockpit in this thing. And it was like this when I bought it. Seat was in it, carpet was in it, steering column, steering wheel. I think I've done the Dakota Digital, the vintage air controller suite too, but everything else is the same. So what I would say about this is that you've been able to take a truck that was already nicely modified and really yeah. put all those creature comfort and not and really nice touches that, that matter to you absolutely yep. yeah and not to knock the previous owner um i will fair warm this i have bad luck yeah and i'll get into that i bought it it was a nice truck it wasn't up to my level but i looked at it as hey i can take this drive it weekend you know tear it apart be back on the road monday yep you know little nitpick projects that's how i looked at it when yep. i did it and the trans blew up uh when i when I did that, the, uh, I pulled the oil down. It was full of glitter. That's what emphasized the LS swap. Yep. I had an LS in it and the TKX uh, when I got it. Went to LS Fest last year, drove it around. Uh, trans was noisy, brand new uh, Tremec. They took care of it, yeah. cool guys, swapped the trans out, decided at that time, hey, let's put a cam in it. So we yanked the engine out. 
<laughs> went to put a cam in it, found an engine issue. GM took care of it. You know, things oh happen. My goodness, I don't look at it as things that happen. This is my bad luck. Yeah. It's how you handle it. That's true. It really is. Any company, not trying to say Holly, anybody. It's just yep. how you handle it. It's true, man. So in a matter of two years, the factory engine's gone. I've been through an LS and a Tremec. This is the second engine in trans, but it's, <laughs> it's just it all... wears you out, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, that's building trucks, yeah. right? I but mean, sometimes... That's part my luck, part trucks, but... It's had a lot of good miles on it since then, and we're, we're just enjoying it, man. Well, Zach, we're, uh, we're yeah, now man. at the back of the truck here, yep. man. And I, I, I just we were actually just talking about the plate here. You've got a cool 66 Georgia plate on here. Yep. I love the rear end of these trucks so much. I know. The bumper, the tailgate. You've obviously got this one upgraded a little bit, and it's got some nice protectors, yep. which is mm -hmm. nice. The one thing I think we didn't talk about was the fuel system. Right. Mm -hmm. So can you tell me a little bit about the fuel yeah, system? Yeah, it's an underbed tank sink they do. Yeah. It's specific for the 66. Obviously, the tank's behind the seat factor. I'm a big guy taking the tank out moves it a little bit so yeah. gives a little bit more room a little bit safer back here too. I agree so, I agree I, yep. I like the weight distribution you know better back yeah here and too. this thing spins so the power <laughs> I'll take everything I can get you know yeah. weight in the back <laughs> do you know what fuel pump you got in this thing uh, 255 wall yeah. so very cool yep. and so that runs that whole yeah that whole it's LS3. not a I mean this thing ain't a powerhouse I mean it is but it's not 700 horsepower yeah. so 255 does it fine very cool well I I, I love the truck as I have a bug flying yeah. up my nose. They're trying to attack us here. It's <laughs> trying to get summer here in Georgia. So I love this thing. Yeah, man. It is it's such a cool truck. I am, uh, I'm ready to go take a drive in it. Before we do that, can you tell me what's next for this truck? To be honest, I don't know. I, I know I have trim for it. Yeah. And I'm and I'm on edge on putting it. The trim on this is beat. I'll yeah. be honest. It might not show in camera. It's beat. Yeah. But you can pull it right up in Walmart parking lot, park it up in the front row, yeah. slam the door and not care. I mean, it's kind of like that little bit of a patina. Yeah, you know, it's not component. patina patina, but yeah. it's, it's it's clean patina, yeah. maybe as a, as a way to put it. Yeah. So I'm afraid if I put brand new fresh trim on it and I have it, then it's gonna, it's, I'm gonna- You're gonna think about it yeah. differently. So yeah. I may just leave this trim on it. I, I don't think it's beat at all. Uh, you and I obviously have a different definition of beat. Well, yeah. <laughs> but, but man, I mean, it, it looks great. Well, when you see that nice, polished I in know. the package, this is I beat know. to me. But I know everybody's dif d definition's different. But For sure. I know if I put fresh trim on it, I'm just not going to want to park it in the front of Walmart, yeah, you know? That's true. That's true. I think it's time we go give this thing a little drive around the block. Yeah, let's go, man. Because I already part. know that's your favorite thing about this. Yeah, it, it really is. The, the enjoyment, the, the feeling, it's five speed. Just an old truck. Yeah. It, it, you can't beat it. Good modern <laughs> technology wrapped in an old truck yep. package. It's just so good. Absolutely. Thanks for coming out today. Hey, Zach. no problem, man. Let's go Let's take go. a drive in this thing. Yeah. Are you Dude. ready to take a ride in this thing, man? Oh, I'm so pumped. That's what I was yeah. about. Exactly what I was about to say. <laughs> oh, man. I love this thing. Let's get our air done. You're right. With the man pedal. I know. My other truck's gonna be automatic, my 50 truck. We didn't talk much about yeah, the 50, but yeah. well, we truck's got, gonna be crazy, man. We got plenty of time to talk about it. I am, uh, I'm just super stoked about what we, what you got right here today, man. I really appreciate you bringing this thing oh, by. absolutely. Oh, I can already tell it rides good. Oh, yeah. Ride tech, it's got it figured out. It's expensive, but. Oh, yeah. I mean, like you were talking about the shifter, it's just, it falls it, in place. It is perfectly positioned. We'll go right, right here. So, like you said, this is Ratech up front, dead end garage in the rear, but the exhaust setup is Hooker Blackheart long tubes. Yep, so they make a full kit for the truck. Um, obviously not air ride that goes over the axle. I just used the front half of it. Yeah. Chopped it off in the back, put turn downs on it bedroom it's not there to run the exhaust out the back right. so it works it sounds out sounds so good i'm just i'm really pleased to know that hooker's making something like that from a long tube header that stays up above the frame rail that's my biggest that's my, my biggest, biggest thing, thing is my biggest thing with the truck is we're, we're sitting here having a conversation it's not overly loud nope we could probably use that gopro audio if we wanted to we might it's not quite it's not loud and but when you romp on it you know you know it's there so i like that balance of the mufflers there. yeah we're gonna have to uh We'll show them a little romp on it here in a minute. Oh, yeah. Is that all right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I like to I like to take folks around the, the yeah. neighborhood just because it's a nice little time we can talk about talk about the truck and yeah, not absolutely. be so loud. And you're right, man. These gauges look oh. killer on this thing. 
and these are the VHX models, so you can get your phone. They got an app. Yep. It changed all the colors. I like normal stuff, so I did blue up here. But if you look, like you can cycle through here and see different stuff. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, I really love how you've uh, how you've got this thing set up. I mean, it's just functional. And the seat. I know yeah, you're it's so the seat. comfortable. <laughs> it is so comfortable. Yeah, I dig it. I dig it a lot. I like where you got the cup holders. I mean, I know it's kind of become a normal thing now, but the cup holders in the seat in these trucks make all the difference. Yeah, this was in it when I bought it, and it sold me. My other trucks get a Snowden seat 110%. Yeah, I love that. And they make it easy. I mean, you just order it offline and come in a box, right? Yeah, they've got... You know, they've got all the patterns and stitches. There's a lot of choices, but just do what you think looks best. Yeah. Yeah, I love, uh, you got all this, <laughs> you got all this nice wear in here, which yep. I love. I love that so much. I'm glad it stayed fawn is what I, that's my favorite thing about it. Turn right at the stop sign. Back. What I love is coming to a stop, listen to that cam. <laughs> it does sound good. The cool thing is, that's where I started Whitlock Garage. Are you not about trucks? Yeah. Nice. That's my old house. For you, are you OGs? There you go. Ain't cool, I don't know what is. Dude, this truck just looks so good going down the road. I mean, so good. So good. She gets down a little bit. Sound is really where it's at, man. Yeah. I haven't heard it from the outside. I gotta get somebody driving one day. Uh, yeah, you don't want me driving this thing. <laughs> um, this sounds really, really good. Really good. Pull it right back in here. There you go. Ooh. And we're about all done, man. Hey, man. That was a good time. Dude, this is a great time. I really appreciate you coming and doing this. Absolutely. And being the first one that's, you know. What, patina? Yeah, uh, sweet, sweet patina. patina. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really I've got their about stuff it. from my other truck. I can't wait to use it. We got to get you some of that Century Polish. Yeah. You can use that on here and use that on other stuff, too. Oh. Love that. Okay, before we cut off here, Mill has come home and seen the truck. What's your favorite part of it? The color. What color is it? Baby blue. Baby blue, just like your eyes, honey. All right, guys, this is gonna do it for this episode of What's In My Driveway, brought to you by the Sweet Patina. As I mentioned, we're so excited to have Zach Rollison here in his 66, but we're also equally as excited that Sweet Patina has come on board to help us make this series that much more enjoyable and that much more fun and that much more educational. So if you haven't visited thesweetpatina.com, please go do that. Also, obviously, check out holly.com. We gotta throw that in here just because, man, they offer such great stuff, especially these hooker black heart headers come on get you some of that but we're talking about this 66 today so smash that thumbs up leave a comment down below let me know your favorite part about this truck i'm sure zach wants to know every every owner of every truck wants to know what other people think about it i'm just kidding but definitely let us know your favorite part about zach's truck we'll catch you next time right here on united by trucks all right, well, there's two things I want to mention here. Um, one is Zach has his own YouTube channel called Rolo's Rides. I'll drop a link in the description, so go check that out. But the other thing he mentioned that you can't really appreciate because it's daylight is he put the Holly Retro Brights in this truck. We have these for Teddy. These what? are the, um, the more modern white, I think they call it. Yeah. So I heard the yellow is just as good. Not yellow, but, but the, the amber K, sort of so color. Yeah. They really make it nice if you want what you want. As far as the classic classic so it's classic yeah. look obviously yeah but if you want that classic color we got that you want that more modern white got that and i run them high beam all the time don't tell nobody <laughs> but the foot switch you know how it is yeah, yeah. you don't want to be on that thing it. all the time yeah <laughs> so i can see i love sorry it. for anybody that's coming the other way <laughs> <laughs> i love it well there we go that's it holly retro bright
this thing is rowdy. <laughs> 